Look at how big this ant is. Fry him up, get some show you. He's fast. He is fast. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are back in Orlando, Florida. It's been about five months ago since we're here, but we are staying at a luxury resort here on property, Disney property, Animal Kingdom Resort. This is by far one of my favorites. I've come to visit, but I've never stayed here before, only because there's Savannah views here. So it's by far one of my favorite resorts. Yes, yeah, so if you're an animal lover and you love the Animal Kingdom Park, this is the resort for you. So we're gonna go check in and do a little room tour, property tour, and get something to eat. Welcome to our Animal Kingdom room. This is a two queen bed unit. Start off as you enter the door. Here is the closet with extra pillows and blankets. And come over here. Look what we have here. We have a Keurig machine. And they give you the pods of uh, decaf, regular. regular, and tea creamer right below that we have a cool fridge right here it is nice and cool i already opened it up oh and over here we have the in-room safe and one of those um, wrinkle-free little machines for your uh, clothes not too many places have that and they give a tour of the bathroom here are your amenities oh here's the bathroom first of all nice giant mirror two sinks Here's your amenities right here. Yes, they still have H2O here, but their shampoo in the shower changed. Here is your toilet. Here's your towels. And this is the shower. I the top it's still shower. H2O products. Though. Oh, it is still to H2O. Yeah. I thought it changed, but here's oh, the Oh, we heard H2O. they're phasing those out. Right. But oh, we do like their products. Look at that. Akuna Matata. Oh, I know, right? It's only going to get better from here. Check this out. Two queen beds. Look at that rock uh, sculpture. sculpture. Yeah, right here on the wall. It's really cool. And here we have our climate control. What I like is each side of the bed has your plugs. So it could be on this side or there's some in the center over there too. Right, and we also have some original artwork on the wall. Of course, our custom welcome screen. Uh, splash screen. Yes, and we have a lot of uh, drawers, dresser right here. And a small desk. But look at this. This is like the highlight of the room. Now granted, when we did book the room, it was supposed to be a pool view. There ain't no pool out here. Check this out. Welcome to the Savannah room. It doesn't get better than this. So what this is essentially are rooms that overlook what they call the savannah, which is a freaking savannah. It's got <laughs> real animals. They're not animatronic. They're actually no. real. Yes. And it goes all the way down. And it's like a two section savannah. This is only one section. And there's another one way off to the right and even behind us, I believe, too. There's so, the other side. Yeah, it's like multiple savannas here. There's like a few birds over there. Okay, this is just like cool. Yeah, it, it's very cool. This is the first time ever I've stayed in a, a room that overlooks wild animals. And it's pretty worth it. Oh, yeah. When we come inside, I'll tell you the deal that we got. So there are two parts of Animal Kingdom. There's Jumbo House and Kadani. We're, they both have Savannah views. We're in Jumbo House, the mm -hmm. absolute, pretty much furthest room that you can get. Right. We have a corner room. We have, you can see our big window and we mm -hmm. have right outside as we have stairs to the other side of the Savannah. Right, so that's too. another viewing point. That's right pretty out cool. There. Mm -hmm. Now, how much did we pay with your cast discount? Now, with my cast discount, I paid an upgrade of $6 
for a water view room. We didn't know what a water view room mm -hmm. was. The person that I talked to on the phone thought maybe it was maybe like a pool view, which we were expecting. Right. And that was 160 a night. Yes, before tax. Before tax. Yes, mm -hmm. but when I ran it up under the regular Disney uh, Animal Kingdom website, that pool view was how much? Uh, 460. Is it four? Yeah, something? around 460. Yeah. And for a Savannah room, it's 602 per mm -hmm. night, all before taxes. All before tax, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, thanks for working for the company, baby. Thank you, baby. Save a but, few, few dollars there. Oh, my gosh. This is spectacular. Spectacular. Yes. You don't even need the park. You don't even need to go into the park. I know you're here to go visit the parks, but because if you're into animals and you're just watching them move and they're they're moving freely around. It is just amazing. Yeah, and you know what? It's so quiet, like like you heard out there. It's very peaceful. Mm -hmm. And the weather is so pleasant right now, yes. too, that you can stay out there all day. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of have to remind you, babe, we got to go to the park. We got to go to the park because you just, it's just so relaxing. Yes. Now we're going to finish unpacking and do a quick little lodge tour, and then we'll get something to eat. So this is on the other side of our room. Remember, we have that corner area with that big window. We go right outside our door. We come through the exit where the stairs are. And this is the view on the other side. You can see those really big birds over there on that. Uh, look like a vultures or something. Or something. Mm -hmm. And look and at that. The, the buildings are only four levels high. So it keeps it very intimate here. It, um, it's not big skyscrapers or anything like that. So if you're wanting that Savannah view, this is the place. The second and third floor have overlooks of the savannah, and in, right in the middle they have displays. Like this one is the Hats of Africa. Very unique, and these are all authentic, right? I would think so. Yeah. And let's go look at the overlook. So it is cool. This is a place that you could just kind of kick back with rocking chairs. Yeah, these are big rocking chairs. Yeah. And look at that, little binoculars, and you don't have to put a quarter in. I don't think you can see anything. Oh. There are no animals over here. I think because all the animals are in our corner. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're in the shade, yeah. right? But this is a nice place to just chill. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? The overlook um, is just a window up on the third. But where we are on the second, that's where the rocking chairs are. So that's cool. This is Boma down here, which is a regular breakfast eatery, right, baby? I think it's so, a regular yeah. breakfast eatery. And we're looking at down. What we're in is Victoria Falls, which is like a lounge. And most likely it'll probably open at night. Right. It's a so nice little We're just kind of walking around exploring what this yeah. resort has. Victoria Falls. Yeah. This is the buffet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is the one we're looking down. It's Boma. When you come into Jumbo House, this is the main entrance. They have giant windows and everything, but if you go on to the second floor where we're at, you can walk outside. And if you don't have a savannah room, you can walk out here and then go walk around for some animals. And it's cool because the, the I guess the background music is like African folk yes. kind of music. Mm -hmm. Tries to put you in, definitely into the story. Yeah. So, oh, here's some uh, wow. big pelicans right here. Yeah, they are pink-backed. Pelican. Here's a little sign right here, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's see if you can see what they have. All different kinds. Now, I'm not saying we got lucky, but we did. These are all savannah rooms right here. But as you see, there's, there's no animals out here. It's very peaceful and quiet, but there's no activity, animal activity here. And 
from our room, you, you saw what we got. There's like the whole gang of them, right? So it is a cool walking path to do a little exploring. It really feels like you're in Animal Kingdom, the park. I love all the rock sculptures. It's so quiet. And you know what? We're the only ones out here. I don't know why there's more people not out here. Walt Disney World has over 25 resorts. Yes. And it is really among popular opinion that Animal Kingdom is the most unique and the most, I guess, thought out, beautiful resort. It has a savannah. I mean, how much it more does. can you get? It has a savannah. Yeah. And what's cool is the main lobby. It's kind of reminiscent of like the Grand Cal mm -hmm. in Anaheim. Yeah, as you can see behind us. It's got a giant square lobby. Uh, they have dual stool ca uh, stool cases. Uh, they have dual stairs. uh, staircases that go out into the main area where the savannah is. Uh, they have a bridge connecting like the third floor from the left to the right side. Uh, a lot of artifacts. A lot of artifacts from the hallways to the lobby. Uh, even right when you get to on top or if you go down the dual staircases, you can see there's ostriches and the light is an ostrich egg. Yeah, they have like which pillars, is really cool. right? Little mm -hmm. staircase pillars. Yes. Uh, even the whole roof, it kind of looks like like straw. It's kind of reminiscent of like a, like a hut, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so this is really nice. It smells very woodsy and a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. It's got that nice... Kind of clove. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's got that nice smell throughout the resort. Right? I don't know if they sell that as an air freshener. I don't know. And they have a DVC, which is Disney Vacation Club booth here. And, and when, look. And we're, when we're in Hawaii in May, we brought DVC. So look what they gave me. A little sticker. And I like it. Just had to give them my phone number since we're members. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so of course uh, later this year you will see us in the DVC property. Alani, we're going Hawaii. back to Alani. That's right. Yeah, we're so going back to Alani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna continue looking around. We're kind of, wait, uh, not wasting time, we're, we're kind of eating up time because we're waiting for lunch service to start at 11.30. Yeah, and it's 10.10 uh, right now. Yes. So we have a lot looking around. They have a store here, so we're gonna walk through the store. This is a really big gift shop. It has a sundry store and it looks like it hasn't even an artist here doing all different names. Very family friendly pool area here. Yes, and so they do have one giant pool and also they have connected to that giant pool is a slide. That's yes. pretty cool. And they also have a small kids little wading pool, which is pretty neat for really small kids. And what's really cool as well is that all along this area here, it's all a view of the savannah. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't see it from your room, you didn't see it in the lobby, there's a view portion out here. You can look at the savannah again. They have lots of flamingos here. They had a lot of baby flamingos too. Mm -hmm. So that was, it's pretty cool. And we saw, saw a sign right here that have nightly activities, mm -hmm. uh, happenings around this area yes. every mm -hmm. night. If you're staying here at the resort, they have complimentary, uh, what the marshmallow roasting here, make your own s'mores. They have a glow party here every evening. And this pool is open late. It's open from 10 a.m. We're more early, so we've been here at 8 if it were open. But it opens at 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. That mm -hmm. uh, Those hours can change when non-summer, because it's right. still a little bit of the summer, but it's a long time right, for right. the pool to be open. It is. Mm -hmm. So right next to the pool is a bar. Yep, the Uzima Springs Pool Bar, and they have a lot of drinks that you can get poolside. And they're not open yet, they're open at 11 o'clock. at the Mara, which is their quick service breakfast. So there's not only a buffet option here, these are the plates you can get. They also they, have some okay. grab and go items. Mm -hmm. And right here is where you get your order and pick up. And you also could do mobile order. We're in the fitness center. It is 24 hours. And they even offer you massages, in-room massage, facials. That's pretty cool. Yep. Here's the kind of machines they have. 
Now, Animal Kingdom Lodge has two sections, like we previously mentioned, the Jumbo House and the Kadani. So we took a shuttle bus that's free. It's about maybe a five minute drive. And here we are at Sanaa. This restaurant here is known for their bread service. So here it is right here. It's the name. Yeah, and where is the bread service? Right here, right there. Indian style bread service. But I heard it has like a little African flair to it as well. So apparently that's all the rage here at Animal Kingdom Resort is that bread service. So we're gonna order it and see how it is. And we said that's soup of the day also. Yeah. And you can't beat the view. You have a view of the savanna. Oh yeah. And there's some animals out there's there a, too. There's a bird right to your left, across the pole. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right thank there. you. Sanaa is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is table service, and there's so much theming. The colors are so vibrant. The fixtures are just absolutely pretty, and again, you get the view of the savanna. Yeah, um, I thought I saw a giraffe. Yeah, there's a giraffe in the distance. Is there? Oh, yeah. Way over here. Walking around. But you know what? I have to, again, give credit to our room. Yeah. It's got the best view. When we went back to the room to go drop something off, the giraffe wasn't there anymore, but the wildebeest, I believe the, the wildebeest were still there. We got a bowl of tomato. That is their seasonal soup right now. They have the little oil drizzle right on top. Let's go ahead and mix these all up. Yeah, I thought it was that. just a regular tomato bisque, but it's got things in it. Yeah, so we're gonna go try these things. It, it looks like tofu. It I looks don't think like it's it. tofu though. Let's try this out. Now this is hot. Mm. It's very light tomato flavor. It's really creamy. Mm, this oil here. I know it's not an olive oil, but. It just enhances that soup. And this could be mobile one. Okay, babe. So and this tastes like cheese. It uh, it's not the flaky cheese or anything. It's the harder cheese. But this is a really good tomato soup. Not like you would get like at um, Jolly Holiday. You know the one we're used to with the basil and stuff in it. And a very creamy. The tomato soup, different spices. I'm trying to explain it. It is not sweet. I know how sometimes tomato soup could be a little bit on the sweet side. This one is not sweet. It's delicious. Though. Is it spicy? No, not spicy at all. You know what will probably be nice is dipping some naan bread in there. Yeah. This is the famous bread service. We have five different types of naan bread. I think she said garlic to plain to what is this, wheat? Wheat. Or Spicy. something. Yeah, there's five different types here. Here's all the different type of toppings for the naan bread that goes from spicy all the way to sweet. Although I don't know if that's really sweet. It looks like sour cream and chives. But we're going to give each one a try. It looks really cool. It's almost like a uh, little tasting plate for the naan bread. So we're going to tear into this. Oh, look at this naan bread. It's about the size of a personal pizza, about six, six, seven inches maybe. So let's tear this. Oh, very, very soft. And I believe they said this was the, uh, the spicy one. So why not go with spice with spice? This may be delicious, it may not be a, a smart idea, but here we go. It may be Disney spice, babe. That does pack some heat. It kind of reminds me of like a habanero type of sauce where you really don't taste the pepper, you just feel the heat. But this garlic naan bread, which is a spicy one, is delicious. You almost want to like just get some and start dipping on each one. So I'm going to go through each one of these and I'll tell you which one my favorite is. Let me try this naan bread. It is perfect. They were saying that they have a tandoori oven here and this is how they make all of their breads. It's gonna rip this in half. 
and I'm going to go start at the other end, which is the sweet end. Chicken. All righty. Oh, look at that. This one has some herbs in it. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Why don't you taste it on its own? Oh, it smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Onion. Onion non bread. Mm hmm. It is oniony. There's a little bit of heat to it. So I'm going to try this one with my sweet. I'm going to try this sweet here. It almost looks like a mango chutney or oh, something, mm -hmm. right? So let's try this one out. It tastes exactly like a mango chutney. It is on the sweet side. And what it's nice is it really matches this bread because it's a little bit on the spice. It's delicious with that sweet. And then this one is like a, a sour cream. I, I give it a little taste and it's like a little sour cream and chive thing going on. Do this one right here. Exactly the taste like sour cream and chive matches the non perfectly. This one will go nicely. Oh, there you go. Dipping in the soup. That's the pro move right there. Mm -hmm. The tomato soup and the garlic naan, or the onion naan. This is amazing. But this bread service, I think if you have, I don't know, two to four people, it is perfect for sharing, for mm -hmm. as an appetizer to try out. Again, you have, well, five separate ones here. So there definitely is more than enough to share. Which is your favorite one? This one's my favorite. This is like a roasted bell pepper with a little bit of heat to it. That's really good. To me, this one tastes like curry. And these are the sweet. This one tastes like a fruit sweet mm -hmm. sauce. This one, I don't remember. This one just reminds me of hummus. Yeah, yeah. my favorite was this one as well, mm -hmm. plus the green one and this little mango chutney. Mm -hmm. So those three are my favorite. But they're but, all very good though. They're all they're, worth trying. And they're all very complex and, and specific. And so you, when you're here, you have to get the bread service. Good morning, zebras. This is what we see this morning when we just woke up. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is the next day. In yeah. fact, this is our last day. And look at they have the 100 years. It is right here. Mm -hmm. We are at Animal Kingdom. We are. Uh, we already checked out of our hotel, but we're going to spend the whole day until our flight. Yes, and it's late tonight. We usually don't take a late flight, but this time we're taking a late flight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's We're going to spend the day here, look around a bit, and I think uh, we're going to go eat at a buffet, huh, baby? We are, and we'll tell you more about it when we get inside. Yeah. Alrighty, so if you're new, pro tip, if you're new any of these lovely sculptures that are all over in all the parks, like there's one right over there, if you have the Magic Band Plus, you just wave your hand and it does like music. <laughs> it does work. We just did it. Uh, I think because I, I just did it. Uh, uh, I think it does work though. I, you, I just did you it. You just got molded. Yeah, I did. We're in the Harambe section right here, and it happens to be the restaurant that we're gonna eat lunch at. Right behind me, the Tusker House. Now there's a lot of buffets here in Disney World, but the Tusker House is rated one of the top ones, and it's a character experience as well. So that's why we're here to check it out, our first time. Good. We got in a little early, so we're gonna go in now. Yes, this is the way you go in. Mm -hmm. 
right when you get seated, you get a postcard with all the character signatures in the back. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, right and then Do Goofy is coming now. Hi, Goofy. Oh, Goofy's here. I like it. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, it's look a video. That. It's a video. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow, he's got some moves. Show your moves. Look Show your moves. There you go. Wow. Wow. Brought it out from the Goofy movie. I love it. I yeah. love it. Come yeah. on, baby. Your turn. Uh, no, I, I pass. <laughs> I got no moves. How about you, baby? Oh, my turn. Okay, here we Let's go. Let's see. All right. Show me your moves, babe. How's that? There you go. There you go. That's all I got. That's all I got, Goofy. <laughs> thank you, Goofy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, wow. First of all, look at the amount of detail in here. It's pretty amazing. Wow. It really gives that image that you're inside of a village. It does. Right? So we're going to go ahead and walk through the food. Here's uh, the mini cornbread muffins. The zebra brioche bread, a uh, naan bread. Oh yeah, naan bread. We just had oh, some yeah. of that yesterday, uh, multi right? croissants, homemade hummus, mango chutney, which we love the mango chutney, oh, and yeah. of course butter. And they do label everything up on top. And what do we have here? Here's your own charcuterie board, which is turkey, ham, grapes, the slaw, cool slaw, and cheese cubes. So the only reason why is because they spell the slaw this way. So I was wondering, do you pronounce it slaw or slaw? That's right. And look at this. The next. Babe, look, if you want chunky potato salad, they have it. Chunky potato salad. Let's move on. Here we have assorted salads and different toppings, including cheese and croutons, three different type of salad dressings, house-made ranch, peri-peri vinaigrette, and a coconut curry vinaigrette and some assorted little veggies. Here are more other types of salads, chickpea salad, some black eyed pea salad, and some roasted cauliflower salad. I like this little touch. This is the king section, so everything is lower. Yes, we have to go down. Here we go. So yeah, they have all the stuff that kids love, including this section here with mashed potatoes and some corn dog nuggets, of course, mac and cheese. This looks good. I'm getting hungry. This is the jasmine rice curry chicken and green curry shrimp. Yes, now we're getting to the mains, right? Look at that. Green curry shrimp. Now this seems to be a favorite. Our server just said that that's his favorite. And we move over yeah. to some more mains here. Mashed potatoes, braised beef. Wow. They have melee pop. It looks like mashed potatoes. Yeah, huh? I'm going to try that one. Uh, mac and cheese and cauliflower bunny chow. Roasted root vegetables. I know you like those, babe. Yeah. Feisty green beans. Some braised collard greens. Some jollof rice with sausage inside. Mm -hmm. I think it's plant-based. Yeah. And here we have some North African harini, harinawa soup. I'm not really sure, but it looks like a vegetable soup. It does. And what's really cool is all these little green leaves that are on the little signs, this is what they mean. Oh, yeah. So I believe those are vegetarian, yes. right? Banana bread pudding. Yeah, this is almost should be in a dessert section, yes. right? Uh, Redskin potatoes, chumula salmon, tandoori spice rub, which is three chicken, and tandoori sauce right next to it. They seem to be different just type of toppings. I'm not really sure what this is, but there's a good old ketchup. Their lunch just started, so they're phasing out breakfast. We came at 11 o'clock, so they still have some breakfast items here. Yeah, so this is probably available during the uh, crossover, right? Yes. Which is pretty good because now you can make it into a brunch. It, it is a brunch. It's going to be a brunch for us, which is really nice. Here's some naan bread, all the different sauces, and the different add-ons. Wow, you know what? You can make your own bread service like the one we had yesterday. Yeah. And really cool. everyone's favorite? And the desserts. Yeah, you get some uh, tomatoes for dessert. Oh, I think these are ruses. They, I yes, can't even baby. lift it up. Yes. But what do we have here? Look at that. 
A little Honey tart. Honey tart. Wow. Fab Five Safari brownies. That's a big brownie though. Oh yeah. Uh, African layered cookie bar, butterfly cupcakes, and pineapple tarts. You know, for for aesthetics, these are like beautiful looking really desserts, pretty. right? I think they have some different ones on the other side. Let's go check them out. They even have a separate kids desserts, which is really cool. Yeah, we have to go down have, low again. Yeah, sugar cookies, some more pops. The brownies again, which I'd probably get this size brownie. It's a bit more manageable for me. And double chocolate zebra cookies. And the here. last side. Plant-based chocolate mousse. Wow, okay. And these are different on this side. No, it's the honey chart. Some is the other side. Oh, they, they are, okay. Yeah, all the same. And the fresh fruit. And fresh fruit. So yeah, I think we're ready to attack this. Let's get started. There you go. Donald's here. We like your food. Thank you. Are you already full? Are you still hungry? No, you're, you're full. You're done. Oh yeah, I am done. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Thank you for coming by. We'll see Bye. you later. I think Donald knew that we had just brought yeah, our food here. So exactly. we're going to get ready to eat. This is the start of my little brunch here because I have a little bit of breakfast here. I got this sausage and ham and another type of sausage. What they had is they carved the beef shawarma for you. So right next I got my pita bread and all the stuff I like in my shawarma. So I'm going to go put this together just like that with little bits and let's go ahead and take a bite. Yeah, it's almost like making your own little gyro sandwich. Yeah, let's see here if I can get this going. Ah, without everything falling apart. Yeah, kind of made my own gyro. Just like this, let's go ahead and try out this shawarma. That's pretty, that's pretty good shawarma. You can taste all the, the meat in there, it's delicious. I have that tiki sauce with a little bit of onions. I have cucumbers in here and tomato. This is delicious. Mm. Hi Daisy. Daisy's here. Nice to see you. Good morning, good morning. How is it this morning? Thank you. Thank you, good. It's our first meal. So it's good, yeah, we're gonna get nice and full. Nice and full. I like it, I like it. Oh yeah, everything looks really good here. So we're gonna, can't wait yeah. for taste testing now. Taste testing everything. Thank you so much. Thank you, we'll see you later. Wow, that's pretty cool. So Already the characters three. come around a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the good brunch portion. Now it's gonna be the lunch portion. Here is the salmon. That looks nice and juicy. Mmm. That is an excellent salmon. It has a little bit of seasoning on top. Really good spices to it. And I got the tandoori chicken with tandoori sauce. So let's go ahead and try this out. Make some sauce in there. Wow, that chicken is delicious. It is moist. The tandoori sauce is a little bit sweet. The lovely spices in there wakes up this chicken right here but the chicken doesn't really need anything at all this is a really nice and juicy piece of chicken and then i got some it was chow, it was something a little kind of like marinade sauce little marinade on the side like tomatoes mm. and such this is spicy this is like something that you would put like a relish that maybe you would put maybe on top of a, um, some sort of meat or something this relish is spicy but it has lovely flavors of bell pepper and tomato and onion was that the one so right next good. to the ketchup this is right one right, right next okay, to the ketchup, yeah, ketchup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so if i put a little bit here a little bit on top of your tandoori chicken this is this is really good i love the spices here it is so del delicious this is my first plate there are so many choices here 
and I overloaded my plate, which I used, typically don't do, but everything looked really good. I got everything from the braised beef to that same tandoori chicken, of course that green curry shrimp, and the other curry, I think with, with chicken in here, with the jasmine rice. So let me just go right to this, because this is the one that, like I mentioned, people really love over here. Here we go. Wow. This one, nice curry flavor. It is not spicy. It just has that nice curry spice. This is like restaurant quality. It is above, or like a buffet type of quality. So that one is very good. And I expect this chicken version, different curry to be just as good. It is. With a little bit of rice, it's perfect. Oh, yeah. And of course, this braised beef, it looked too good to pass up. Again, very tender. Mm. That piece of beef, excellent. What really surprises me is that all of the dishes have spices and tastes that we're not used to at all. It is a far departure from Asian type of cooking, American type of cooking. So I love the different tastes that we're getting inside of our mouths eating these dishes. It's very unique, very delicious. I look forward to polishing this off and going for round two. Thank you, thank you. Oh, goofy, it does be some goofy, He's right? really tall. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. very yeah. tall. Very tall. Taller Thank than you. me. <laughs> Another character is coming. Yeah. Look who it is. It's Mickey. The hostess with the mostess, right? Right? <laughs> Hi, Mickey. How are you? The hostess with good, the good? mostest. Nice to see you. Okay. Wanna, this is the camera, so we're just going to wait. We'll see you later. Thank you. I think we saw all the characters now, right? Uh, I think, oh, I think Minnie. I think we're missing Minnie. And then that's it. Well, that's pretty good. Within uh, 30 minutes. How are you enjoying all the food so far? I would think this restaurant is like a sleeper because the food is so good. It's character dining for lunch and dinner. It's all you care to eat. And you're going to see everybody for $59. And this is really restaurant quality food. Restaurant quality yeah. food. And there's it's not even that busy. I would say maybe half or so of people are in here. Yeah. Luckily, we didn't. You know, we made reservations, but you really don't need reservations, especially for lunch. I would not miss this restaurant. I we pass it every single time on the way to the Lion King show. And next time you have to stop and eat here. Yeah. Uh, to note, the lunch and dinner are the same menu, but the breakfast is different. Yes. And breakfast is almost like kind of mainstream. So, if you want that little brunch vibe, come here about 11 o'clock when lunch starts, and you'll get a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the pro tip that's right the there. That's the ticket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you finish eating? All right, me too. But I have to save room for dessert. That's, that's the way to do it, right? You just right. missed Daisy over here. Uh, right? Sorry, babe. But I had to try these salads out because this is a house-made ranch. And this is a coconut curry vinaigrette. They had also had a peri peri vinaigrette too, but I'm gonna go try these two out here. Let's see, coconut curry vinaigrette. That sounds so interesting to me. Let's get a little bit of greens here. The name kind of threw me off. I was expecting it to be a little bit more on the sweet side, even though it's a vinaigrette. But you can taste that coconut, you can taste that curry in there, but it's a little bit tart for me. But it is really good salad. Just don't, I was thinking the coconut as in coconut milk, a little bit more sweet. It has a very, it has a really good coconut flavor though. And then here is their house made ranch. Mm. 
that house made ranch is good. It doesn't taste like a regular ranch. It tastes like it has a little bit more spice to it. Try to get her. Let's just taste the sauce. That is good. It has a little bit of that tartness to it, which is really interesting. It's a good house made ranch. Out of the two, I'd pick the house made ranch for my and salad. A couple other things yep. on there too. I have um they have a like a tomato type salad and they have their slaw. This is some grapes. This is the little bit of the hummus and this is that mango salsa they had. The mango chutney. So trying a little bit out and then I'll go try the hot I go try the other hot mains. Oh, I forgot. I got their soup. I forgot it what it was called. It's it like a vegetable name, soup, right? But it's like the vegetable soup. Let's go ahead and try this soup out. It has lots of vegetables and lentils in there, plus garbanzo beans. Very good flavored vegetable soup. I like it because it's very simple. That broth is vegetable taste. I mean, vegetable, vegetable flavored broth. And just putting all these great little add-ons in it, flavors the broth. Not salty. Mmm. I'm tasting a little bit of spice. Just a tad bit of spice. This is a delicious soup. Nice, simple soup. And it is half full of paper. It's, it's delicious. I had to get some desserts. Of course, I couldn't pass it up. That banana cream bread pudding, that's very interesting. And this was in the section of where the main dishes were, so is it considered a main? I don't know. These little desserts look really good. The little tart, this little cupcake, sunflower, I don't know what it is, and this. And I have to get that zebra bread. You know, oh, it's interesting. Very yeah, pretty. Yeah, seeing uh, zebras kind of got me in the mood to try this bread out. And it tastes like bread. <laughs> There's no difference between the dark and the light bread. It tastes like bread. But yeah, let me, let me try this uh, this bread pudding out. Let me see what all the range is on this one. Here we go. It's warm. This is definitely a dessert. I don't think it should be in the main section. Maybe to oh, keep it warm. Why? To keep it warm. That's what it is. It needed the hot plates. A great fresh banana flavor. Of course, with that nice moist bread pudding. This is really good. The icing is very sweet. And you said it was a banana blueberry? A banana cream. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like a banana cream bread pudding. Let go. Yeah, this is delicious. Good. So what's left are these four desserts right here. I'm going to try each one and I'll let you know which one my favorite is. And Mickey is visiting the family before oh, us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are consistently coming out. We've seen so many characters today. It's crazy. No shortage. Hi, Donald. Almost full. Almost full. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just a little bit of dessert and we'll be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Always save the best for last, right? Yep. I like it. This is the vegan plate. These are all the vegan options they offer here. So these are made with no animal meat, dairy, uh, eggs, and honey. So I'm gonna try this out and uh, tell you what I have, what I like. I tried these four out, and uh, you know what? I can't really narrow down what my favorite one was. These tarts are very good. One tastes like a, like a coconut banana this is like a pineapple one and this bar is like a sunflower seed bar there's a lot of sunflower seeds in here wow. when was the last time you had sunflower seeds uh, it's been a long time for me so this is very good too of course the cupcake the frosting is very sweet but the yellow cake very good so yeah the desserts are hit here as you can tell that little vegan plate that I just had delicious Everything was absolutely stunning. Here comes Goofy, baby. Goofy. Almost done. Almost done. Almost We're getting done. so full now. We're getting full. Oh, yeah. 
Look. <laughs> oh, look at that moves. Look at the moves. I like the moves. There you go. I like it. Yeah, look thank at that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You know, last time I moved like that, I had to go to the chiropractor afterwards. Is that what happened there? That's what happened. Yeah. Oh. oh, well. Anyways, all of that, that little vegan plate that I had, absolutely delicious. Everything had great spices and flavors. Those root vegetables were naturally sweet. Wow, that was delicious. Uh, and there was no meat in it, and it had so much flavor. I absolutely loved it, uh, as you can that, tell. Try that sunflower out. Try my sunflower. Yeah, that was surprisingly pretty good. Mm. I mm. mean, there's so much sunflower seeds in there. Reminds me of something. Almost like a. You know how on some buffets they have like a, like a brittle bar, and that bar has a really good crust to it, and it has inside sometimes coconuts and and um, chocolate chips and things. And this would this reminds me of, but to me this is much more tasty because I absolutely love sunflowers. So. This is a little bit sweet on top, but it matches well with the sunflowers. This is really good. Yep, we recommend this bar, huh, baby? Yes, I it's do. It's very good. Yeah. You would be nutty not to get it. We're not getting any, but they have even specialty cocktails here. Some of them look pretty good. Especially that uh, Tweaky Punch. Mm -hmm. And they have your beer and wine. Yeah. So yeah, you can definitely have a little bit of little bit of pre party here along with your buffet. A little wrap up of Tusker House. It was delicious. Be sure when you come in here to look up. There's so much detail here. There's a lot of details mm -hmm. from the old telephone, the electrical wires mm -hmm. dangling around, mm -hmm. uh, all the different masks. In mm -hmm. fact, there's a lot of masks here. They, yeah, right um, behind us. Maps, artifacts. I, I would say of all the Disney restaurants and buffets, this is the most detailed one where they have mm -hmm. so many artwork and again, artifacts. Mm -hmm. I don't know any other restaurant that has yeah. so much yeah. decorations. It, it was really, really just amazing, it's stunning when you go in and you know when when we go into any buffet you just walk in and you go sit down you really don't look up so be sure in this one to look up there's so much going on there is inside. a lot a and lot. i we always mention especially when we're in vegas you know would you rather for this money 59 dollars a person would you rather go to a sit down dinner steakhouse or anything like that or to a buffet mm -hmm. for me here and um, Animal Kingdom or even in the Disney World resorts would I rather have a buffet over a sit down I rather have this buffet you would never hear me say that but I rather have this buffet gen than just a sit down here so far at this resort yes this buffet was definitely restaurant mm -hmm. sit down quality food mm -hmm. yeah I, I would just tell you that this buffet blows away the Carnival Cruise Lines buffet yeah by, mm -hmm. by, and, by a long you know, shot and to us I mean it's simple things i mean they're putting just cucumbers and tomatoes and onions together with these lovely spices and everything and just makes it astounding and so if the cruise line would get that just simple ingredients and then do spices and make it astounding oh my gosh everybody would be visiting that buffet oh yeah for sure mm -hmm. yeah so now we don't have that much time left so we're just gonna rock on just a little bit before we have to go back and go to the airport Let's walk around. Okay. For anybody who needs their Star Fix, Starbucks <laughs> fix, any time of the day. I need a Star Fix. <laughs> it's right here at Creature Comforts. Yeah, it is an unassuming place. It's hard to know, but you have a little green sign right there as a Starbucks coffee. But beside that, it, kind of looks like just a, a big building hut. I like the details. It's 
really cool little details oh, on yeah. these buildings. Yeah, like you just mentioned, if you didn't notice, at the very top. Look at that. And look at the sign, Creature Comfort sign. It has two monkeys with coffee. I don't care what anybody says. That S looks real. Nailed it. So at the tree, I think it was called Tree of Life Forest, right? Yes. Maybe there's you can take the walkway and it actually goes through the base of the tree. Not that many people travel this way. No. In fact, we've been here, you know, many times of course, but it's the first time I'm exploring this way. And there's a tree over there. This is like one of those scenes in Europe, you know, as soon as you yeah. get out of the, the subway and you go in and see like the, the Duomo and stuff. And it's just like, wow. As soon as you turn the corner, look at this. And then take, be sure if, if you come this way to look, really look at the rocks. Like this looks like a walrus right here. Yes, it does. And there's a lot of these hidden types of animals all within the carvings. Look at that. That is going to be a wrap from our whole Animal Kingdom experience, yes. from the lodge mm -hmm. to the park. Now this is, we know this is going to be a long video, but this place is just amazing. Staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, I'd really stay there again. Yes. It was just amazing. And then come here to Animal Kingdom, which is one of my favorite parks because I love the animals. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really cool. Of course, there's so many other things here at the park that we didn't mm -hmm. highlight, but we did on previous Animal Kingdom ones, like the uh, the Safari bus tour, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they have the Lion King live performance show. They have uh, animals. It's almost like a, a really big uh, kind of like zoo. Wow, so uh, they do have a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. They have several. They have several roller coasters Yeah, that big one, the Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've never ridden on it, but you said I it's have. pretty it's, crazy, it's right? It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a highlight here. It's a yeah. highlight at the resorts, actually. So that's going to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank you if you made it all the way to this point, because this is really one of our longest videos. It is. <laughs> right? It is, yes. Yeah, but uh, if you're uh, always curious about uh, Animal Kingdom, there yeah. you go. This, this would be a good guide for you. Mm -hmm. And we're having a treat. Hold up our camera so we can do crazy stuff. Yeah. Look at that. But I'm ready to jump in in case it starts to fall. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. It is. Yeah. So uh, thanks everybody for watching our Animal Kingdom adventure. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.